Hey everybody, here on the new map, one of the new maps at least, uh, we're going to play some of the fucking new update, tough break update just came out, we're going to do some stuff related to that, uh, so that's what's going to happen, and you're dead, and you're dead. So they buffed the dead ringer, so now it's like so much more fun to use. Or I push the cart. Just push the cart. They cannot fight me. Oh! The second I put the dead the thing away, some fucking sniper comes out that I didn't even see the entire time and kills me, and then I get swapped to defense. Man, I wanted to play an offense. Uh, whatever. Uh, they also, like, bugged the big earner, like, animation when you draw it out, so it looks stupid as hell. It's ridiculous. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm just doing some contracts. You can see in the top right. I figured I'd start off the video by doing a couple contracts just to... Sniper, what are you doing here? Okay. Guys, don't come here. No, we're just gonna get them all to look at you, and then I'm gonna get in trouble for it, and it's not gonna be fun. Don't use the Razorback. It's rude. You guys didn't see anything. I'm you! <laughs> you fool! I'm gonna wait for my disguise to take effect. And then we're just like, what's up, nerds? Hoopla. And this is the part where we run away. This is the part where I'm like, Pyro, just fuck off and leave me alone. That guy heard me, I think, but I don't think he knows where I am. I appear to have evaded them. He probably put up a teleporter. He did not. That soldier didn't even see me, it seems like. So I'll stab him and use the boost. Ooh, fuck. That's a heavy, though. I'm out of here. Oh, God. What? I'm just, like, bumping into everything. But, yeah. The Dunringer got buffed, so he takes 75% damage on the first shot, so it's way more interesting. Hoopla. Oh. I was hoping... I just saw the heavy's health was in red, and I want I kind of fucked up, and I didn't have the dead ring. I was playing a little too aggressive, so I, I really needed to like. Um, my goal was I stab the heavy, just poke him in the face, and I kill him, right? And even if you don't get the backstab, as long as you kill somebody with the knife, you get the the movement speed. So my point was I was just gonna poke him real quick, hopefully kill him, get the movement speed, and get out of there. But it uh did not work because he did not die. Still might not have worked anyway, because there wasn't anywhere I could run to really quickly, really. That pirate just, like, killed our entire team. Good to know. Good to know. Let's go over here. He probably knows I'm a spy, but this is the, we just switched disguises, and GG. Go, soldier. Get them all. Oh, where'd I shoot you from, bro? Where'd I shoot you from? Somebody saw me doing that. So I'm just going to bail out of there. What the fuck do you see me for? Hmm. The part where I just don't care, really. They're not going to come from this way anymore because of the way the spawns work, basically. They're only going to come from up there, so... We're just going to ignore them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's another pyro, and I accidentally bumped a soldier there. Team is not applying enough pressure. I need more pressure. Then I can do things. Again, because see, look at this. I just have... Ugh! So many people. So I finished a dead... I have a contract to use a dead ringer. So, like... Yeah, that's why I'm using it. And I also just like it. I honestly really like the dead ringer with the new changes, but it's just, like, so hard to use. Can you fuck off? Why do they have the opportunity just to face backwards the entire game? What is my team doing? They're, like, all dead somehow. We're, like, getting spawn camped by a demo man... Yeah, my team is just not holding it together, man. It's so hard to play Spy. Like, look at that. It's so hard to play... They could see him do it. I mean, they were in death cam. They could see people doing stuff. The other team's not even pushing the cart. So, I'm just gonna basically stand by the cart and make sure they don't push it. No, you fucker. Too many people. <laughs> I'm too fast. Oh 
my god, medic, please heal me. Medic, please heal me. Just please heal me! Thank you. Oh my god, dude. That's a really aggressive decloak because they come from right through there, so... I thought I was 100% sure going to die. So if their heavies don't notice me, it's going to be bad for them. Whew, no! Oh my god. Ooh, that, that what I thought was a backstab. I thought it was pretty close, but okay. So in order to... Um, I'm probably going to be playing this map for quite a while. I know I asked in my in the previous video, was like, I, oh, I was trying to get opinions on what I should play. But like, I kind of just ran out of time because I have to fly out like... In eight out, no, not eight hours. Uh, it's more than eight. Hours. Okay, that uh, almost fucking killed me. Gosh, they have a dispenser and shit in there, which I would really like to murder. That's going to involve probably murdering this guy. I thought I disguised. Apparently, did not because I just got wasted by mini sentries. Thankfully, people very rarely look back here. That sniper is one exception. Trying to catch him out. So he's low on HP, so I just need one decent hit and he's dead. There you go. Damn man, can you fuck off, mate? I have the ambassador. Okay, that's a pyro though. Did I not just have teammates right there? Somebody was shooting at that heavy end there who was on 40 HP. Oh, the dreaded flog pyro that nobody can kill because you can't aim. The heavy should have totally killed the pyro, and the soldier light didn't hit a single rocket on him. Man. They have a teleporter really close to us, apparently. Actually, they definitely have a teleporter on the left side. So I'm going to actually maintain being on fire, and then use it to get through here. Okay, this is bad. You still chasing me? Fuck off. I have to headshot you twice and you die, you know. Boy, you did manage to clear my sapper, just barely. Oh, we're going to lose, like, right now if I don't do something, so I kind of just have to ignore being on fire. No, it's too many people! I got the teleporter, though. That's important. I got people chasing me like crazy. This is when the dead ring is really good, man. They, they don't know if you're dead! Like, that guy doesn't know I'm dead. For, he probably thinks I'm not dead because I, uh... In fact, if, if somebody hadn't taken that full health kit and ammo, I probably wouldn't have died. Because I would have had my dead ring up faster. But, uh, that is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I'm just distracting him. See, when you're using dead ringer, you gotta be a little bitch about everything. Make them get pissed at you. So, you know, just, uh... Basically... What are you doing? Who moves like that? Who the fuck does that? What the fuck? It's impossible. It reminds me of this video I saw. I don't know if you guys know who Banny is, but he's like a really, really good TF2 player. Uh, like basically one of the, you could argue he's the best. He's one of the best for sure. But he's just like, he has such trouble hitting like p pub players because they're so dumb. It's like unreal how dumb they are. You can't predict what they're going to do can't do anything. There's a part where I think I just go to their fucking spawn. Hopefully people won't think I'm a spy. We shall see if that's the case. I 
feel like that should have worked, but the game just hates me. Can people kill people? Oh my god, I'm getting shot by everything. I really wanted that medic to die. He almost did. Um, but yeah, what do I have to do? I have to absorb 125 health with the dead, with the dead ringer, get 5 points. Survive an attack that would, kill you, that would otherwise kill you gives 8. And win a round on Snowy Coast is 15. So I have to win 2 rounds on this map, so we're probably going to be stuck here a while. Um, surprisingly, we might win this one. I was not anticipating that would ever happen. Is NG trying to set up a teleporter again? Can't have that. Hopefully this demo man doesn't fuck with me too much. Papa, don't drop it! Sitting below 102 HP, he could have saved himself. I took out the I took off the dead ringer. No. Yeah, I call bull. He's mad because I keep killing him. I can just aim, dude. What what can I say? I've played this game for like 3,500 hours of some godforsaken him, and I better be able to hit headshots on people regularly. I'm just pissing you off! No, I got body shot! But he doesn't know I'm dead, you see. He doesn't know I'm dead. Our entire team, like, died right there somehow, so, uh, they will probably win here. I, if I had to guess, they would win. Unless somebody can stall the cart long enough for me to get on there and get, like, a crazy chain- Oh my god, that was just some devastating spam. There's no way we win. Gotta go for the taunt kill! I don't- I didn't turn very much. No! Oh, uh, shit. Mm, what was that guy saying? Yeah, I call bull. He's mad. That's okay, though. It's probably super... It's super frustrating playing sniper when you have a spy on your ass, though. Um, cause that, hap that happens to me a lot whenever I, like, play, um... Like, lobbies or something, because I usually do really well in the spy. It's just like, I'm gonna only try and kill the sniper. And it's like, okay, cool. Then I just sit by our medic and shit, and he just heals me, and I can never die. But that is as a story for another time. Anyway, we're about done here with the Dead Ringer one. Just need a couple more things to happen. The unfortunate thing is that um, we still need to win two rounds on this fucking map, which will take quite a while. Um, so that's probably going to be the rest of the video on here, honestly. Uh, but yeah. So the Dead Ringer with the new with the buff that it has is so much more. It's so nice, okay, because it because it avoids what the original Dead Ringer was, which is you're basically invincible. You can still totally kill spies that have, that use a Dead Ringer now. If they're really predictable, you can hit them with a lot of shots and still do a lot of damage. But that you also in in compensation for that, you get the speed boost, which is really nice to use. Um, frankly, I would probably never even use the big earner with uh, this. actually kind of want to get hit yeah oh yeah see i just died like what happened there is um the demo knocked me up in the air and the soldier got a crit from the direct hit just by accident basically <laughs> we have three no wonder we have two afks no wonder we can't even fucking leave our base I like to decloak aggressively just to fuck with people. Because you can actually do that now with the new Dead Ringer. Or with the Dead Ringer that's no longer a piece of shit. Advise me to run right now. That soldier saw me, so. Oh my god, they just spy check the entire game! Can my team apply any pressure so people can't spin in circles? Because that'd be great. Oh my god, like we aren't pushing the cart. 
It's like, guys, there's like one fucking dude here. Medic, heal me. Heal me right now. My health, fuck off. It's so much fun! I love the big earner! The big earner is so good. The big, the big earner with the dead runner now is disgusting. It's like so it's like easily my favorite spy loadout. Like no question. Just applying pressure because nobody else on my team can apparently. Just keep railing off headshots, keep doing damage. And then all of a sudden I peek out. Get that guy to kill me. Oh fuck, this door isn't open. Nobody hears this. Two people just respawned, so I'm gonna wait for them. <gasps> you bitch! Fuck death cams! Fuck death cams. He cheated. No, he didn't. My <laughs> there's two options. Either my shadow was showing through the wall because this game's buggy as fuck, or um he saw me while he was dead. I don't know, man. Like, I understand you want to have people have, like, a death cam or something so they can see while they're dead. It makes perfect sense. At the same time, like... I don't know. Okay, this is the scary part. We're gonna go all the way back here. Like, nobody ever comes out of here, so... Should be a pretty safe place for now. Chase me, NG. Do it. Chase me. I'm trying to make room for our other spy to get something done because we had our other spy there. Oh fuck, we both went this way. Not so ideal. Can you get up here? Oh my god. I really want to get up here. Oh yes. I was gonna pistol it down. Like I can, why not? He knows I'm up here though is the issue. Look how cute you are, Heavy. He doesn't even know where I'm shooting from. Oh, you got me. But did you really? I doubled back, fools! They probably heard that. Oop. Got him. Use the speed boost to get back up quickly. <laughs> Fight me, cowards. <laughs> No! 
How dare you turn around? You fucking bitch. <laughs> you suck, water. I suck. Oh, that was a very entertaining life. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, try and kill people again, because apparently, again, nobody on my team can kill anybody. Again, just apply the pressure. Make people regret peeking me. I got double dunked. That is scary as fuck. Oh no! There are more people there. Jesus Christ. Ugh! Team Solo Mid Kyle is godlike. I must confess, I haven't exactly been fighting him all that much. <laughs> no, you fuck. <laughs> get him! Get him, devil! Where's the. Ah, my team's just not applying any pressure. It's too difficult. Hmm. Should I play an actual class? Oh my god, fucking crit. My FPS just kind of took a dove there as well. That kind of fucked with my brain. I was not tracking very well. I don't think we'll be able to win, but I'm gonna try and just powerhouse this shit. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. No, it didn't work. I'm a failure. Let's see what I got from this. Uh, you're the one I got the bonus on, yeah. Okay. Submitting results. See what I get from this shit. We're never gonna finish the bonus on this, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Let's try and do Huntsman. I've been experimenting a lot with like new Cleaner's Carbine. The Cleaner's Carbine, like everybody talks about Jurati Bushwhacker. Nah, man. Cleaner's Carbine with Bushwhacker is fucking amazing. Because it, it's, you're so much more in control. It's just like ridiculous. Like it's not as beneficial for your team. But you only need to do like 80 damage with this thing to charge it, which isn't that much. Like, you can do that in one clip easy if you hit most of your shots. It's pretty good. And then I'm just using the Huntsman because I feel like it. Um, this kind of... I don't know, because it's pretty... The SMG has always been a really nice weapon to pair with the Huntsman. In fact, if you run Huntsman, as far as I'm concerned, you should always run SMG. Because the, SM, like, the Huntsman just does a little bit of damage... It, it, it just does barely not enough to kill most people. There's 120 in a body shot. And then you only need five more damage. It's just a, like one shot from the SMG and they die. It's just super... Like, it just it just adds up. It just is mathematically good. Some damage. Oh, I missed everybody? Not him. Keep dishing out damage. Keep dishing out damage. Oh god, that's a lot of grenades and shit. Team needs to make something happen. We need to make something happen. Oh, I missed. Your fucking back scenario doesn't help you against that. Just dish damage to the scout. Yeah, got him. Got him, got him. Okay, let's press onwards, men. Ah, excellent team! Push forward! Surge forward! Surge forward, team. That's what I'm talking about. Finish people off with the SMG. It's really good, because it's it can be hard to finish people off with the Huntsman. Like, it's much easier to do a finishing shot with a sniper rifle or something than with the Huntsman. Huntsman's pretty difficult, because it take it... You can't, like... I don't know. It you can't, like, no-scope exactly or anything. You hit, smacked somebody there. I didn't kill him, but they fucking felt it.
Because they'll probably just spam their spawn in the hopes that I fucking hit somebody. Welcome to the Huntsman at its finest, men. Pinned somebody to the wall. That's a medic. Medic has been pinned to the wall. Smack that guy. Smacked another guy. Look at this angle. Look at these angles. They stand no chance against such fucking angles, dude. Ooh, another 60 damage. So much damage, dude. Excellent. I missed. I need to back up. Oh shit, that's beggars. Too bad it's useless now. From that range, it's basically useless. Like, if you're watching, it's useless. Oh no! I got greedy there. I'm just like, uh, should probably not go in there, but I did it anyway. Trying to listen to what she's saying. I can't quite make it up. It's something about a book club and a book about relationships. It's kind of what I got out of it. Let's try and build up some mini crits. Just deal out some nice, consistent damage. Free 50 damage. Helping my soldier buddy out. Just sh spam an arrow down there, because why not? Excellent shit. Oh, fuck. This is bad. I'll let you have the health, dude. You need it more than me. Ah, uh, excellent medic. You are a champion. A little bit of damage out there. It's nice to just do that too. Like if somebody's getting around the corner and you can't quite hit them. Let's get get a little bit more consistent damage out with the uh, SMG. It's pretty swell. Yeah, 20 damage to that guy. It's quite good. Anyway, I'm um, going to spam an arrow over there and try and move over here. A lot of times red team will forget about this location. Now they're not going to because now they're pissed at me. Just to mess with them. Just to mess with them. They're like, why the fuck is there a Huntsman Sniper there? And I'm like, because I want to be. I got body shot. That hurt. We're going to bail on out of there for now. Come back over here. See the NG building his gun. Say, I don't give a fuck. And just shoot him. I actually did manage to thread it through there. Please swell. Oh, soldier, you just took a rocket to your fucking face. Oh, nice rocket jump. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Nice classic. Okay, here we go. Here comes the bushwhacker. So shall it be done. Somebody come out. Ha ha! So you can see the bushwhacker, it's just like, I just fucking pop it, I have several seconds of mini, eight seconds I believe is what it is. Eight seconds of mini crits where I just obliterate people with melee. Ugh, it's too bad you couldn't run the Darwins with this, otherwise you could honestly build like a melee sniper. Where you just use the, uh, like if you could swap your sniper rifle out for the Darwins. And then just, uh, carbine people until you get the mini crits and then melee and use the Darwins extra protection to kind of, uh just carry you through but oh well so yeah i mean overall i've played uh, quite a few of the maps in the new update and um i super like almost all the ones i've played um vanguard they did change the last point i like this map a lot has some very unique things like i love this building i love that you get up there and spy that's just like fun that's so much fun that's the sort of dynamic shit that a lot of maps are missing you know like, on a different map, this wouldn't even be here. This would just be, like, a boring fucking house with, like, a roof you can't even get on top of because it's an invisible wall, right? And then, um, what else was I going to say? The fucking, um, Vanguard, they did change the last point. It's a lot better. Um, still don't like it a whole lot, but it's all right. Vanguard's a pretty good map. I love that they add more 5 CP because 5 CP is super fun. Not a lot of people play it. 
It's not exactly the most enjoyed game type, but uh, oh well. Oh, I thought the medic would come out faster. This medic is like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, I missed him. That's a spy. I maybe hit him? Gotta get health. Get a little bit of health. My arrow is on fire. Prepare to die. We're kind of just dominating people right now. This is uh, pretty one-sided. But that's okay, because if I win, that means I can go to a new map because I have the contract fulfilled. And then we can maybe try out some other maps as well instead of just this one. I thought that was an enemy spy for a second. Oh, fuck! Oh, our medic just dropped. No, medic. No! Medic! Kill him! No! Save the gun! Ah! Oh my god, I need this health so bad. And here we go! Fuck you, spy! He's not dead, but he's hurt really bad. I just got spammed out too hard. Got spammed out too hard, man. That's okay. They're probably gonna get that point. Oh my god. I'm trying to get somebody killed for money. Can you hold on a sec? What's up, nerd? Okay, so that, that's a bug I don't like. I don't know if it's a bug. But when you leave spawn, you can see the outlines of people. Like you could just, I could see the outlines of people. You can also see the outlines of spies. It makes it very easy to determine who's a spy. Kind of, you can kind of see them coming from like a mile away. So it um, slain. Oh, dish out that sweet damage. Oh, you're not dead, team. Team, you aren't being helpful. I think our gun's still up, though. Which is quite beneficial if that's the case. He's rebuilding it, so that's helpful. Okay, now that gun's up again. That's gonna fuck him up pretty hard. Oh, there's a window up there! I didn't even know there was a window up there! Dude! That's probably where the pyro came from. That spy. I think he's actually dead, because I fucking drilled him with one of my shots. And he didn't dead ring that time, so he took the full the full blast. Oh that pyro. Eat shit, I really suck. I saved you, kind of. You died anyway. But I tried. Oh, ho, ho. eat shit and die. Let's go again. Let's go again. We'll get double dunked. I saw you, sniper buddy. <laughs> eat shit. Eat more shit. Eat 100% shit. Oh, the pyro, he got smart. He realized he could shoot through there. Ooh. Eat shit and die. Got him. Got him! Ouch! Fucking hurts. Oh, fuck. I 
need to headshot the medic basically. I'm so hurt. I'm just gonna back up. That's a lot of soldiers jumping at once. We'll back up, we'll retreat, and we will uh resume the killing. Ah, uh, there's a soldier slam team. Oh god, retreat. Why do you chase me? Oh, what, that like technically killed me? I lost all my fucking mini crit bullshit. I didn't, ah, oh, damn it. Damn it! Damn it all. I missed him. Trying to help our medic, he just got sworn by scouts there though. Not a whole lot can be done. Missed him. Yeah, pirate is wrecked here, NG. I got him, you see it? That's why you have the SMG with that shit. Any other secondary, he went to die, basically. Anyway. We'll see if I can fucking manage to win this win. It's not looking good, and I'm probably gonna have to switch classes. Maybe, let's run the flog! The most OP weapon in the game! So OP! It's so OP! Flog! I can even kill other pyros with the flog! Prepare to die! Prepare to die! Death comes for you! Oh shit, I thought I was pr pressing taunt, it didn't taunt. Fuck. If I would have taunted them, that would have been perfect. Because he would have blown himself up, I would have gotten full health and gotten the crits, and I would have just wiped the floor with people. So, like, when you're talking about flog, that's kind of the way you kind of almost should use it. You should try and flank around people, right? A lot of people are just stupid, and they walk in, and that, that's when Pyro's really weak, because he doesn't have the air blast. He just kind of dies. Like, that's a spy, probably. I think that might actually be our spy, though. Please chase me. Do it, you fucks. Ah-ha-ha! Ah-ha-ha! Scout, don't fight me! I need this health. Okay, we're just gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. Scout, fuck off. Oh my god, he killed me. I just lagged really bad there, too. Like, my FPS is just like, nah, you're fucked. It doesn't really help. I should probably use an actual secondary with it. Like, I'm using the Scorch shot to kind of build the fucking meter, but it's like... Who really cares? You're dead, mate. Thank you. Well, that's a bad place to be. Slay him! I'm missing everything! See, I can't extinguish him. So he just kind of died. Retreat? Again, just lighting people on fire is adequate, because that just builds my meter. And once the meter is full, I can do whatever I want. I can even just completely ignore the meter if I want. Oh, fuck. I didn't, ex I thought, I didn't think he was turning around, because he was really hurt. I thought for sure he was going to fucking, um, whatever. I was like 100% sure he was just going to, um, is he idle? I think he is. 
That was that medic who was standing in the corner. Um, I'm like 100% sure. What was I even going to say? I don't even remember what I was going to fucking say, dude. Die, scout. Burn. Excellent. Once again, flanking nerds. How come you're invincible to fire? No, fuck off. Everybody, fuck off. I have the oomph meter. You stand zero chance. Oh, I don't have it yet. I thought I had it for some reason. Oh, I should have it. Fools! Oh my god, Uber too. W, I'm wanting the shit out of you! Thanks. Look at these noobs! Trying to fight me? You cannot fight me like normal! And they just sit there and die! What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. There's all right, it's like the flog is so good against people who don't know what the hell they're doing really. Cuz like they just basically ask to die. Oh, random crits, huh? Oh, fuck. That's a lot of people, though. Too bad they're all burning to death. They're playing ring around the fucking rosy here. Can I can kill himself. Yes. Canine Crunchies, isn't that from fucking, um, 101 Dalmatians? Everybody's so much- look at the hate already in the chat. Oh my god. I would be wrecking them so much harder if I just ran fucking Degreaser right here. Um, okay, cool. How is he not hit the other player? Medic, can you leave? Oh my god, Medic, please just leave. Medic, you're not leaving! What's wrong with you? I'm trying to get him to leave, but he just refuses. Just spy check real quick for my, for my buddies. Easy. Easy kill. Didn't even need the fucking flog. Killed him anyway. I could have tried to air blast. I don't think I would die from that. Because he whipped me. I was at full health, I thought. He whipped me. Which I think the whip does less damage, right? Does it not? 25%. It still killed me. Hmm. I thought that wouldn't kill me, but I guess it didn't. It's also pretty hard to play Pyro when your team is uh, like, what the fuck are you doing, buddy? I'm trying to be very sneaky about that. Who even needs the flog, am I right? Leave my medic buddy alone! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Charles! Actually, fuck it, you're going off the edge. Get off the edge, just get off. Oh, you're so clever! 
It didn't matter, though. Somebody knows how to air strafe. It also helps with the pot- like, that- that's what happened in the patch notes, right? The fucking- you can actually air strafe when you have the, uh, when you're air blasted that much. Oh my god, medic, please leave. I'm trying to protect the medic, but he's, uh, not having any of it. We're gonna probably get flanked here by some fuckbutt. Now, Scout just walked in and nobody killed him. He's going over here. Maybe he didn't. Easy air blast. Don't even care. Scott's gonna burn to death. Oh, unless he manages to get. How's this guy have so much health? How does that guy have so much health? I hit him with. He had took like 110 damage and he was burning. I don't understand. I think we win this, guys. I think we can have some time at the end here to play a different map, actually. But yeah, it's just like. I don't know, people, they overhype the flog. It's, like, uh, it's better than it was before, that's for sure. I mean, it basically just got a straight upgrade. But, uh, like, look at that. Easy as fuck. Easy as fuck. Me and Dar, kicking ass. Fuck you. Nobody gets to taunt. Nobody! I don't know if anybody got out. Anyway. Uh, let's let's join it. Let's join another server. Oh, wait, I got a new contract. Oh, we got a new one. This one's fulfilled as well. Turn this one and see what the new one is. Might try and do the new one and see what's up. Yeah, I'm liking so many of the changes. It was like a very good update. Oh, a weapons case. Ooh, shall I open that on video? Let's do it. The Sandman. Okay, we'll play a Vanguard capture point map with the Sandman then. But first, let's uh let's open this shit. Let's do it. Let's watch this new fancy case animation they talked up so much. I got a brain candy pistol. Nice. Looks pretty cool. Ooh, and I got a mystery gift. Nice. I can't open it yet, but that's okay. I'll be able to open them eventually. Um, yeah. So, I mean, so far the weapons I've gotten is I got this Warbird Blitzkrieg pistol that's field tested and this and this. So overall, I have had not a good haul so far. Not very good. But uh, that's what happens. Oh, well. I mean, it's the system is basically designed to fuck you, right? So um, you, you have to expect it to fuck you a lot. And you have to stick with it if you want to eventually, you know, get something. It's just a lot of large numbers sort of a deal. But I would like to get something good. The, la the last, I opened a, quite a few crates in the last Drooper campaign. It was just like, this is rather underwhelming. Um, Vanguard. Can we connect? Hello? There we go. Alright, awesome. Fucking sweet. Ugh. I like that they have weapon-specific challenges now. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I, I think so far I like the, the missions, these contracts, way more. Uh, so we have to use the Sandman. If we're going to use the Sandman... I'm probably going to use... We'll stick with the milk. That's people. So I have to score points as scout. Kill as a scout gets me three. Kill a stunned enemy gets me three. I just need him to leave, frankly. Once that guy leaves, things are a lot better. Kill the scout first, because he's actually a threat to me. Oh my god. 
I don't know why, but when I record, my sensitivity just feels like it goes super shit. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you! There we go. That was a soldier and a heavy that were actually enemies. Just like walking right next to each other. Need my ball back. Can I get it back? No. God damn it. Gonna milk these people. If I can. I think I fucked up that aim. This guy really wants to kill me. The rollies got me. How is he not dead? The heavy should have fucking killed him. I didn't expect him to be that stupid. And he just fucking, uh, like... Oh my god. Please stop being AFK. Like, you've been playing, you're second on the team, so I guess it's fine. You're probably, like, actually just AFK, so it's acceptable, but... Man, I would love if, for, like, more than one minute, everybody on a team was actually playing the game. That would be astounding. Utterly amazing. A triumph of mankind. I cannot aim right now. I'm very bad. Spike, can you fuck off? You cannot evade me. I know exactly where you went. I cannot aim, though, so you're very fortunate about that. Oh my god, he, he fucking stabbed me! Because my sensitivity was so high! It's like, I don't know, man. When I record, my sensitivity goes through the fucking roof. I think it is because I play at 144. But I record at 60, and I think it- I'm like so confident it messes up my sensitivity. Like, it's not normal how high my sensitivity is. Like, I mean, I've played with the sensitivity for fucking ever. And it's just like, all of a sudden I like cannot control shit, because, I don't know. It's an enemy spy right there. He doubled back to over here. I know exactly where he's going. You're around here, aren't you? Oh, you left. Maybe he just left. Medic, it'd be great if you could heal scouts. It's so helpful. If you could do that. They're probably gonna cap while I'm out. I have to basically stay on the point all the time, otherwise we lose. Yeah. Oh my god, not a whole lot I can do. But yeah, I don't know, man. I didn't really notice it playing like Sniper and Pyro, because those classes you usually don't have to like flail around a whole lot. But man, playing a Scout, it's just like, holy shit. How did I even, how can I even do this? And now like my computer's getting pretty, it's pretty, uh... I don't know. My, my, my FPS is just dipping. I should really just limit my FPS to 60 when I, when I record TF2. Because I think a big deal is not so much that it's 60 FPS. It's just that it fluctuates so wildly. Is anybody going to take the really long way? Like, nobody should come over here. But, of course, somebody does. Their entire team is over there, actually. Good to know that everybody takes the most inefficient route to get to mid and We have the fucking scout armada here. Oh my god, I don't have my fucking thing! Ah! My milk was not back yet. I was spamming it. Like, their entire team took, like, the longest possible way. I do not understand. Right, they have a gun. I might switch to the bonk then. Use my other one. This is the one I actually have uses on. Because with Bonk, I can get past the gun and stuff. Man, getting an overheal would just be great.
I mean, it's basically bunk, right? No, he got me. I wanted to try and bonk their NG who had the gun. Like, look at this. Two people just not moving. Like, the immediately, the first two people I look at are not moving. I think one of them left, or he died, at the very least. Okay, so we just need a couple, couple more points, and then we're here. I feel like you're a spy, maybe? No, you aren't. Thanks for healing me. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't even care that I got shot. Look at this shit. I'm basically already fully healed. I missed that, though. What are you doing still alive? You thought I didn't know? Did you think I didn't know? Did nobody kill him? Question mark? Of course, there's a level one. I can use the bonk and stand on the point. That makes me the best scout in the world. All right, so we just need to kill basically one more stunned enemy or capture one more objective. And then we have this contract done too. And there'll be three contracts in one video. So what have I gotten? I got one pistol that was field tested, which is like the lowest quality you can get from a crate. And then I got some shitty SMG that I think was not the greatest quality. Let's see if I can go for the long range stunner. Ah, not quite, not quite. I should have anticipated because they're super slow. They take. What the fuck are you doing? Something nerd? Oh my god, my FPS went to super shit there. It was not pleased with whatever I'd been doing. Oh, I don't even have to kill the stun enemy. I thought I had to kill the stun enemy. It's as long as they get killed. Interesting. Well, I'll probably finish this round and quit for now. Probably the plan. See there? I, like, just fucking... Wow, I, like, did a 180. That was not intentional. You're dead, mate. Look at this gun. That's the best gun I've ever seen. It protects everything. Everything. But yeah, okay. We'll quit then and we'll open this. If this is a crate, I will open it just because I'm recording a video. And we'll see if I get anything good. I don't think it's going to be a crate, though. Nice work. Wow! I got something that is not a crate? And not like the shittiest weapon ever. I got a commando grade factory new wrench. Let's fucking look at that. That was wowzers. Unexpected. That actually looks pretty sick. I feel like the first set of cosmetics they released for the for the the, the first stupid thing was kind of just like, eh, this is proof of concept, right? This looks cool. I like the little TF2 symbols on, like, the inner part of the wrench. And then, I don't know, it's just, it's very, like, it's not, it's, like, it's just cool. I mean, you compare it to, like, the regular wrench. It's too bad that the Jag is just so OP. But compared to the regular wrench, it's, like, so much cooler. It's so much cooler. Nice. Okay, I'll probably actually use that. Um, That's pretty cool. No contracts. Boo! So, I mean, you have to think, I'm already, like, what is that, one-seventh done, roughly-ish, between, what, what, six, one out of 6.5, so I guess that's two-thirteenths done, 
whatever that translates to in a percentage, something weird. Um, but I'm getting there. I mean, it's like not that much. There's not that much. I'm pretty close to getting the next stamp level as well, which is cool. Could have a fancy little thing by my name. I hope they give you some. Like, I don't know. I feel like it would be cool if they could give you something. Like, oh, if you have two Australian campaign coins or whatever, then you can do this thing. Just like a little thing. I don't think it should be anything major because then that really is annoying for new players because they can't do these anymore. But, like, I got the maximum of that, maximum of that. It'd be kind of cool to get something. Like, give me. Give me a weapon that, like. Give me, like, an effect I can apply to a weapon of my choosing that, like, has the coins orbit the weapon or something. I don't know. That's complicated, but whatever. But, yeah, so far, this new update has been extremely good. I still haven't tried the new Capture the Flag map. I've been kind of leery of doing that. But, basically, all the other maps are pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of the King of the Hill map yet, um, but it's all right. It's not terrible. Um, I was worried about there being sniper sightlines, and the sniper sightlines aren't really that bad on that map, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, snipers are not that big of a deal on that map. Usually, if you want to get in a really good sniping spot, you're so susceptible to getting just murdered by things. And that's the way it should be, basically. It should not be just as trivial as a sniper walking five feet out of spawn and all of a sudden sniping the entire map, like it is on Double Cross and Two Fort and all that shit. So it's like... I don't know. It's a it's a much better map, um, King of the Hill. It's a much better King of the Hill map than compared to a lot of maps. So it's adequate. I think the other maps are just really good. I really like that snow map, dude. That snow map is like just like everything about it feels good. Like I can't think of a single thing that doesn't feel good about that. I mean, it's just good. And it's, it's nice and complex, too. It's not really simple. Like, Gold Rush is an alright map, but it's really simple. That map is... There's so many more flanks. There's so many little things like you can do. Like, I got up on that roof as Spy, and I was just shooting people. And the Heavy, I was shooting him in the head. He, like... Even if he, even though I knew I was doing it, he still couldn't figure out where I was. Because it was, it was just unexpected and sneaky. And, like, I don't know. I felt, like, really cool that I thought to do that. Like, oh, I bet I can jump up here and get up top. And I'm like, oh, my God! It's the coolest thing ever. Even if it's not that... Like, I'm sure, like, you know, a couple weeks from now, it won't be the coolest thing ever. But it'll still be, like, interesting. I can't think of a single map that has that object in it that, like, you can utilize it like that. It's just, like, completely unique, um, which I really like. That's what I said on my video. I like... To, I want to see maps with new assets. I Like, Cactus Canyon and shit, and those maps that are still in beta for whatever reason, it's like, they're cool... But they just reuse old assets, so it's like, oh, I, I have, like, this stuff, and it's like, you know, cool. But it's like, I've seen all this stuff before, and it still is fun, but it's not, like, it's not interesting, you know? It's nice to have something that's interesting sometimes. And that's what the update should be. An update should be, it should feel at least a little interesting. I'm not saying every update has to be like, oh my god, this completely reinvents the game. But it should be, you know... I should, I should look at an update, like this one, there's all these balance changes, new maps, all this shit, and I should be able to say, wow, okay, I, I want to play these new maps, they seem cool, you know, that was kind of missing in the last update, the, the gunmetal update, I was not that impressed with most of the maps and stuff, like, I, Borneo is the only exception, I love Borneo, the other maps I could care less about, uh, Suijin needs, like, a total rework, I think, Suijin is, like, the epitome of what I'm talking about, where the sniper can just walk out of spawn, and, like, I know they added the barriers now, but, like, the barriers should have been in there in the first place. The fact that the barriers weren't in there in the first place just means that the map maker was not paying close enough attention to what they were doing to begin with. Um, and then what else? I like almost all the balance changes. Like, I think... You know, I don't expect them to fix the entire game in one fell swoop. Balance everything really well. But this is a really good start, and that's what I really like. So, um, overall, like, this update is like the gunmetal update was decent this update is like this is like the, the gunmetal was like the fucking prototype right they tried to do a bunch of balance changes that weren't that good they tried to do all this other stuff kind of decent maps you know the contract system the contracts were kind of boring they were kind of um the rewards weren't that cool because the skins were generally pretty boring 
Uh, but now you have all like a lot of new things. I mean, they have they've had more time to work on skins. I'm sure they got community skins from somewhere. I can't believe I got this. Like, look at all the shit you can get. Half of it is like sh like. Like, two-thirds of it isn't even shit. This, it's, like, so bad that it doesn't even appear in the crates. It's so bad. I got, like, literally, like, the fucking best quality thing. I would have loved to have the top shelf grenade launcher. If I got a stat track top shelf grenade launcher, I would probably use that in a heartbeat. Like, not even joking. But, um, yeah. I am excited for this update. I'm really bummed out that I'm actually... Well, I'm not, like, bummed out, you know. <laughs> but I'm, like... I'm sad that... I, I'm going home, and I'm sad that I can't bring this really good computer with. Um, I Because I can still play on my laptop, and I probably will. But, man... Like, even going down to 60 frames per second from 144 is, like, disgusting. I want to be playing at, like, 30 FPS on my laptop. Like, I, I have, like, honestly have a headache from looking at that screen. It just is, like, disgusting to me now how low fps that is it's just like unbearable that's why i need to limit it because i think a big issue is that i usually i get about 60 but if it varies between 60 and like 100 while i'm recording then uh that kind of fucks with my eyes basically and it sucks but um yeah so basically the deal is when i get back i'll have a giveaway and a q a video and that sort of a thing um i could maybe use this like, this scattergun's pretty cool. Like, I feel like in CSGO, usually the weapon skins look awful if they're not factory new. There's, like, a couple notable exceptions. But I feel like a lot of times the TF2 skins look pretty cool if they're kind of messed up. Like, I like the scratching on this, to be honest. I like that there's some fucking blood there. Gives it some character. Damn. So yeah, I mean, basic, basically from the uh, the previous collection, the only good things I got were this, Stat Trek Night Terror, and this Stat Trek Night Owl. Which I might try and transfer my old sniper rifle to. But I'm, I'm, I'm using my Machina, this strange professional Machina, basically all the time now. Um, so that's that. 46 dominations. Every 10 kills with this thing, I get a domination, basically, at this rate, which is pretty good. Um, it's quite high. This one, this one, I put the dominate. I put basically put all the strange parts on this well after I had hell zone, so it's not super, not super cool, but a lot of hell zone stuff. Exactly fifteen hundred enemy kills. I was kind of looking through my items, going down memory lane, seeing what's up with all these, all this shit. But yeah, pistol. That's why I got the mansion. I love that the mansions have their own, like, names for the strange things. I've only flattened 15 people. I should try and mark a garden more. Um, almost 15k on that. 438. I don't even use that hardly anymore. You know what's funny? My, uh, my ambassador has, like, more kills than my fucking knife. The big earner is so much fun. The big earner with the dead ringer is crazy good. It's so good now that they made a Dead Ringer. Because it's. But when they had the Dead Ringer and it, you took 50% damage, when you only had 100 health, it was like you could die so easily. Now you're just so much more durable. It's incredible. I'm. I. Like, the Dead Ringer now is just so. So awesome. It's like. It's just so interesting that I just can, like, not really bring myself to use the other Invis watches now. Like I'll use like at least not in pubs. Um, I'll use the regular. I'll use the other invis watches in comp and shit when I play spy. But like, that's just because people know how to counter the dead ringer better in pubs. People don't know. It's kind of the same with same with the phlogistonator. Like the phlogistonator is all right, but it's like, come on guys, it's not that good. It's not that good. I've got my fucking stove pipes. Got a lot of shit. Like, I'll probably give this away. Strange Airspoon. Maybe I won't. I don't really like it. May as well. If I can trade it. If I can trade it. Whatever. Anyway, enough blathering at the end of this. Um, yeah. That's basically all I got for now. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm really enjoying this new update. And uh, hopefully you guys are as well. Hopefully you're playing some. And, uh, yeah. It has been... 
very fun so far. Um, and that's about it. I like the balance changes. Everything, everything's really good. And there's like a probably this has probably been the singular best update for probably like three or four years. I would say like a hundred percent. So I'm really looking forward to matchmaking coming out. If they can make the matchmaking work really well and like be really good, um, it's gonna be incredible. Uh, I think what it's gonna do to the game. I mean, a lot of people say like, "Oh, TF2 is really old. You know, it's too late." But it's like, man, I play just the other day. I fucking went back. And I was playing, because I released Final Fantasy VI on Steam, and I started playing that shit again, because I have the I have the Game Boy Advance version. I was playing that, and it's like that game. It's like from like 1995, and I still play that game, and I fucking love it. Final Fantasy VI is such a good game. The Steam version's pretty shitty though, apparently. Um, I'm mad they got rid of the pixels. They got rid of they have like stupid shitty. Like, overly smooth character models. It looks like something a 10-year-old would draw. It's like fucking Maple Story shit. It's like, no. The fucking pixel graphics in Final Fantasy VI were so good. The Super Nintendo had some really good games with really good pixel graphics. And it was just so good. And it's like, it, it's part of what made the game what it was. Seeing those pixel graphics. Like, a lot, like fucking... Oh, my God. Fucking... It's just like... I don't even know. Like, that, I don't know, man. I'm really worried about the new Final Fa with the remake of Final Fantasy VII they're doing because it's gonna have voice acting. It's gonna have this, these ridiculously smooth graphics and shit. And like, that sounds cool. And they're completely revamping the combat system. And it's like that's cool, but I really hope they don't fuck up what made the original game really fun. Like, part of the reason, like, the, they have like real time combat now for Final Fantasy VII. And part of the reason I'm worried about that is because like. The, one of the main reasons Final Fantasy VII was really cool was the Magicite system, which let you can do all these different skills and shit. It's like, how are you supposed to be able to have like a really well-defined team with multiple different like skills and shit when it's like real-time shit? You know, like I'm curious how they're gonna do it. A ga like a game like Xenoblade, which I haven't even played the new Xenoblade. I'm going to once I get back from Christmas. Like I am dying because I'm playing that game. But it's like, the new Xenoblade, I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles had a really slick system for do doing that. I just wish they would have allowed you to change characters during battle easier. I don't know if they did or not, but I don't know. I think it would be fun, more fun to have that sort of a thing. But anyway, enough fucking blathering. And uh, that's basically all I'm going to say. I have a lot of these. How much do these even sell for? Maybe eventually they'll sell for a shit ton, huh? Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna be done. I've been blathering again. I tend to do this, but, uh, oh well. This is the last video I'm recording before I'm going to break, so I'm a little uh, antsy to leave. Because I now that I actually quit my job, I actually have some fucking, like, energy and motivation to record more. And I would like to record more, but unfortunately I cannot right now, so... That's a bummer. Anyway... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some Pillars of Eternity, some Fallout 4 to upload while I'm gone. And, uh, other than that, you guys are just gonna have to tide yourselves over. Although I'm sure a lot of you are very busy because of the holidays and that sort of a thing. But anyway, alright, I'm, I'm done for real. So, I will see you guys next time.